I'm Jennifer Hicks, the principal of the Batavia Virtual Academy. Faced with an unprecedented challenge, the Batavia Public School District had to think creatively to accommodate all of its students in March of 2020. Thanks to the Board of Education, senior staff, and all that have supported this journey, one of the brightest stars that emerged from this challenge is the Batavia Virtual Academy. This school may not be a brick and mortar building, but it is the virtual home of 37 dedicated teachers and 401 students. Batavia staff came together from eight schools across the district to prepare for our youngest students. Each staff member, family, and student has a story to tell about the 2021 school year, and here are some examples of these stories. We asked our students and staff to share their experiences this year to capture the journey of Batavia's first virtual school. We hope you enjoy hearing from our students and staff. I loved being I loved being with people. Um I loved I loved my teacher. I loved I loved everyone in in this school year because they were kind. They was they they followed the the rules and they sometimes helped me and I appreciate that. Being at the comfort of my house. We are all from different schools, and we're going to have an advantage when we get to middle school because we know each other. I like when we go into big breakout rooms. I think that is a fun way to learn. Free Talk Friday, and I really got to know my other classmates, make a few friends. Dance Party Friday. It's when every Friday my teacher puts on a song, and we get dance as a class to it. That I can see my family. Like it pretty much every day. And it's really fun having them around. Learning with my teacher and my friends. And yeah, I'll miss him. And I'm also going to miss second grade. I had a lot of friends. And because my teacher was the best. I loved being at home. It's a small thing, even though it's big. I love school because I keep learning and I love the ABC countdown. We're meeting new friends because I got to meet a lot of new friends, not just from my home school, but from a lot of other schools. My teacher. I got really good at skills of the computer. Math. Science. Social studies, lunch and recess, and specials, mm-hmm. and lunch and recess, mm-hmm. and, and the Google Meets. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And also, I love about reading. I liked how my teacher like showed me a lot of different things, and it wasn't that difficult. And like because it would be pretty easy if we were like in the classroom but now it's like really hard but now i really understand it's like pretty easy now i like the whole school year so i'm just gonna say two but two of my favorite parts of the whole entire school year first one of my favorite things was um the house cup competition and second thing I really liked was the, our landform unit. That I made new friends. Learning about like computer things and meeting people I haven't met before. Being with my friends in morning in meetings because I get to see them and talk to my, my teachers. I got to see my friends, even if I couldn't see them in person, I got to see them in the computer, which made me really happy. Is my teacher, she is kind, she's really helpful. The math and the mine, the minus. I got to meet new friends, I got to do stuff more independently, and I got to spend more time with my family. But that we still got to do activities. Okay, the first thing. I love school because we get to get to hang out together and that that we can get some new friends. One thing I loved this year was getting to meet new people and kind of bond like friends 
And also throughout the year, we've done a ton of fun things and we still laugh, whether it comes from tech problems or anything, we still laugh about it in the end because we've handled it and really well over the year. And I loved spending so much time with you. I love being able to stay home while I'm doing school so that if I have like a headache, I can just grab an ice pack and not miss out with school. Um, I loved learning about decimals because before I learned about decimals, I uh, thought they were super hard and that it would be super boring and hard. Um, but when I learned them, it was actually kind of fun and um, easy. That you can interact with people from different schools. I got to wear my pajamas every day and I wouldn't have met James until middle school, like people like James. To let them meet with the high schoolers, um, like reading. Hi, what I love about this year is everything. Well, I can meet new friends. Just like that, I snapped in and met my new best friends. Now I have many friends in my class. It's not like anyone can just take that away from me. Bye. One challenge I had this year was sitting at the computer all day, but independent work is better because I have a break from the computer. My teacher always lets us have movement breaks too. That gives me a break from sitting. Um, by the way, one thing, this video, wait, wait there, no, wait, wait there, by the way, that link, wait there, it's the Mr. Web, yes, but, so, yeah. A challenge that was hard for me this year here in remote learning was probably math. Math, it was tricky for me at first, first and then I, because it was hard to listen, and then I started to listen better, so then math got a lot easier for me. The meetings, because I had a lot of schedules, and I had to like, like do this one. Oh no, and yeah, and I sometimes went before, like before, like missed my meetings because it was really hard for me. But then I put like sticky notes, I put lines, and yeah, that kind of helped me. It was IXL, and. And I overcome it by answering the questions right. The tough thing is words work because um in writing because you have to think for a long time. But I'm gonna always keep trying. Reading was really struggling. I thought I would never be able to read, but um and I just got better every single day and my brain got stronger. At the start of the year, I definitely needed some a higher patience level because I wasn't as patient as I am now. And throughout the year, because of tech problems or other, maybe not getting work done at some points or other frustration thing throughout life, um, I've definitely built a higher patience level while learning in this class or virtually in the BVA and overall I thought it was a really fun thing to do. Was at the beginning of the year when no one really knew how to use Google Meet but now um, near the end of the year we all know, know how to use Google Meet and like in my class we say we get glue gold that's when Google is sort of like not liking you. Um, my hardest part in school was reading in the beginning, but now I'm getting kind of better at that. Bye. Have a great day. My challenge that I had was that uh, I will never give up, and that was really hard. 
and how did you overcome it? That I never gave up on myself. Good job. Thanks. Because when we did our exit tickets, I had to stay in the Google Meet. But you know, but I figured out something. You can mute the site if you just click on the thing and then push. So there's new tabs, add to journal, move tab to window, reload, and then pin, and then mute site. I click that, and then it works. That I had a big distractions like that baby screaming and crying and dogs barking, but then I went into a, uh, I overcame it by going upstairs into my room by myself in a quiet space. It was test because I was just so nervous that I was gonna get the answer wrong, but I said, I'm just gonna have a go with my son and nothing will happen if I get the answers wrong. Were technical difficulties. It made things a lot tougher like not being able to be heard by anybody, presenting not working, cameras suddenly turning off, whole thing, whole websites crashing. But we dealt with it. We worked through that. We didn't let the technical difficulties take us over. B is for our Batavia families who did the best to support their children's virtual learning experience this year. We know that this has been a difficult year and we have appreciated their patience and resilience. B is for virtual learning. While the learning curve was dawningly steep at the beginning of the year, we, students and teachers alike, got better and better at navigating our virtual environment. Uh, and the kids, well, they've been incredible. They have learned so much and they've become highly capable at navigating technology. They are fearless and willing learners. Many are ready and willing to teach others. A is for academics. Our team feels that we have been very successful at providing the academic content and support our second graders needed this year. We tried to enrich the virtual learning experience for all our students. A is also for our administrator, Jen Hicks, who cheered for us, supported us, and advocated for our wants and needs. S is for our second grade scholars. These kids have been able to reach across the elementary school divide and make new friends across the district. Here are some words that uh, we would use to describe our second grade scholars. Resilient, open, patient, hardworking, friendly, caring, independent, understanding, persevering, kind, and most definitely risk takers. They are amazing and we are so proud of them. I loved seeing how independent my kids could be this year. They really showed me that they could step up to the plate and organize themselves and manage their time without a teacher or sometimes an adult right next to them for long periods of the day. And they really were able to manage problem solving, manage their work and seek help when they needed to. Some challenges this year, um, obviously we're not with the kids in person, so trying to um, engage them through the screen is a whole new beast. To figure out a good schedule that the kids would be able to really engage with that had a good balance between online meets and independent time. And then of course, the biggest struggle I think for students and then teachers alike were some of the social emotional struggles that we all faced. Some of the things that we were able to do to overcome that were um, really listening to my students and my families, seeking their input, listening, taking to heart what their suggestions were. I think they really felt heard and valued and that made a big difference. Uh, the thing that I loved best about BBA was the students. I felt that we really worked together to do something new. Uh, it was nice to work with small groups of students. It was nice to teach without a mask on so that we could see one another's smiles and faces and um, the small groups really let us get to know one another. So that was a highlight for me. The challenge that we overcame this year, um, not only was I learning new material to present to kids, but I had to learn how to adapt that to make it engaging and exciting and adaptable to people's needs. So 
that was a challenge and it, it took a lot of um, time and thought and problem solving every day. But again, I'm going to come back to the kids and say that I felt that they were part of that with me so that the excess, success that we achieved, we were able to achieve together. And that part of it feels really good. I'm going to miss the students that I worked with every day. And lastly, I cannot, I cannot do this without my friends and this it would be pretty impossible without them this year. So I thank them a lot. Bye. And yeah, I really have enjoyed BVA this year. And I'm really happy that we could do this. And it's just really fun being in the BVA. Bye. I hope you guys like it and stay learning.